Boker Tov. Good morning. We continue with our three-minute daily dose of Torah. Rashi quotes a Midrash about Korach and uh, the nature of the, the argument he puts forward. Uh, and, and, and does so, quoting the Midrash, Rashi quotes the Midrash, uh, in a very dramatic way, says Rashi, that he got 250 men, all of whom were people of significance, who, um, who could have been fit to be members of the Sanhedrin, says Rashi. And he dressed them all in robes uh, fully techelet. Techelet, that's that uh, indigo color and that we find in our tzitzit. And he brought them before Moshe and he asked the question, they're all standing there in these robes, and says, you know, do these robes, uh, they, do they require tzitzit? Presumably they're robes that have four corners to them. Look look at their, uh, they're all techelet already. Do they have to have um, tzitzit or, or at, all, at all since everything's techelet here? And presuming that tzitzit, that, that, that the tzitzit uh, fringes were some way primarily to uh, just to, con- to, to get some blue string going for you. And Rashi says they're chayef in tzitzit. They're obligated in tzitzit. And they began to make fun of Moshe, uh, and mock him. Say, "Oh, that's someone that's crazy!" Right here, you have so you, if you have a garment with a corner fringe, um, it's chelat, and that's fulfilled the mitzvah. Of course, you're fulfilling the mitzvah when the entire package is 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 uh, colored um, indigo. So, what's going on here? So, on the one hand, it's, it's a continuation of this populist message that we are all you 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 sing out you pull out single strands of people who uh, should be leaders, whereas the whole people, as we mentioned in an earlier piece, right, the whole people, everyone is worthy, we're all, we're all techelet, we're all the, the beautiful indigo color, that's part of the message. And the other one is, is to try to, to poke holes and make, and make fun of uh, the illogic that they see in, in Torah mitzvot. And you can do so. You can say, why should it be this way over that way? And you know, there's not always explanations for why it's so. The mitzvah of tzitzit, which is, a, which is the immediately preceding discussion, and that's how the Midrash makes his argument, um, is put out there as what it is. You'll see the blue strand and you'll remember the mitzvah of Hashem. And uh, that's the mitzvah. And she so says, well, I'll see a whole blue strand or this indigo strand of my, my whole, the whole garment. I'll remember the mitzvah of Hashem. You can make your arguments, but that's just not the way the mitzvah was formed. And you'll speak about then, um, you know, ah, you know, that you know, this, this is all f- foolish, and I have a higher logic that I'm using. Sometimes a higher logic is doesn't necessarily fit. It doesn't make Torah and mitzvahs illogical, but there's a logic that's here, and your logic isn't necessarily going uh, to to solve everything or explain everything. Uh, and, but when people are already looking to uh, to condemn or to poke holes, they'll they'll just start to mock in this way. Uh, instead of uh, the people who come with real questions, who come with reverence and are trying to figure things out, those people have a very different reception and a very different place. It's Korach, it's Korach's role, though, here not, not, to, not to really be interested in answers or engagement at all, but to undermine uh, and to replace and to replace with whatever uh, view, view, vision of things and leadership that he would have. And that's what Moshe indeed fights against. Have a great day.